Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, this is for you. Later morning for me, yeah, that's after 10. Um, I already had to go out and do some running around already this morning. I got me a hot chocolate. I got, I got, I got to chill on, so I got me a hot chocolate. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could put my tincture in there. I rinsed out my tincture bottle from the last little bits of it, but it is getting looser. Okay, but there's still, it's still, you know, never gonna be able to work like I used to work, and, and that's okay. We need to slow down, right? Wait, so slow, slow, slow. It's that time. Slow, slow, slow. Ah. I had to go print out some paperwork for work, too. I have no printer at home, so I go to the Y Employment Services to print those off. <sighs> Look at my email. There's an email there. I'm hanging in. Even with all this evidence of all this stuff that says you ain't going to make it, all this stuff trying to drown me or whatever, I don't know. Not that it's trying to, but it feels like it. But I keep hanging in there. Sweet Jesus God, all my loving relations. You know, they got me and the good things come in. They're, they're cooking up something back there. I don't know what it is. Owning our story and loving ourselves through the process is the bravest thing we'll ever do. Loving myself, even though I'm breaking down, melting down. Human being, having a human experience here. Owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing we'll ever do. That's Brene Brown. What is the negative narrative you tell about yourself? Take a breath and let it go. <sighs> What's the negative narrative you tell about yourself? Even this, I'm independent, I don't need anybody. That's kind of a negative narrative, don't you think? I don't know because that's more of a trauma response. Maybe we think that we don't need anybody because, hey, there was never anybody there for us. So we've always had to be there for ourselves. And have we really been there for ourselves or have we abandoned ourselves? Because we've abandoned ourselves more than anybody. Hmm. I don't know. What is that for you? Okay, I'm going to take out this one. Uh, so what is that for you? Owning your story and loving yourself through that process. We're being human. Yeah, I cry, I feel angry, I, you know, I laugh, I feel joy, I feel sorrow, I grieve, I mourn, I miss people, you know? I'm there, and that's an email I was crying about earlier, <laughs> and I'm going to call them after this, because I'm in rent to own, right? So things got me behind, so... You know, the city notices, they went to the, the people who hold the finance, or who hold the mortgage right now. So, and I've been doing so good, and then it just, it's her character, not her reputation, but sometimes your reputation, this finances and stuff like that is, um, anyways. All right, this is my story, and I'm owning it. Okay, went through abusive things, and, and you know what? Uh, 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 and, and here I am. You know, from the choices and everything, I knew, I kept going. So, no shame, no blame. It's acknowledging and owning, owning that. And, you know, I talk about the alienation with my kids. Well, you know what? We play, play a part in that alienation ourselves. You know, I don't want them to see me hurting and whatever. It doesn't matter where that's come from and whatever. But the thing is that they have. And that's caused alienation too. When they see their mom being human and going through emotions and... 
They're around the people that don't see their mom and don't treat their mom as another human being. That does. There's no excuse for that person, right? Everybody else has excuses. His life is hard, but there's no excuse for this one. See, there's a negative narrative I tell about myself. Or somebody else did, right? Or that's what I'm making up in my head about what's in there. Anyway, here, here, here. On your story. I march to the beat of my own drum, dancing along, my heart's still young, singing my own song. Been down so long, I know I'm strong, but come on. <laughs> no matter how bad I've been beat, I get back up on my feet, and I keep marching on to the beat of my own drum. My heart is still young. Feels like my life has just begun. Like I've been reborn. After I took time to mourn. I'll keep the love and the lessons. And I'll keep on marching on to the beat of my own song. There we go. Okay. Reset. Own that story. Path and totem walking with us. Here we go. Here we go. Going and stepping into our natural flows. Two paths jumped out with that. The original source. And the pipe. Tapping into our inner peace, right? That's how we own that story, that inner peace. Who can throw us off, right? People try to use our past against us. Well, we own that. How can they use it against us when we own it? Okay, it takes away their fuses. Look at that. That makes a 10. That makes a 1. That prayer for inner peace, tapping into that original source. What, what What's that thing that brought you the most joy? The original source of joy. You. Just being born. What is that? That's such a beautiful thing that you were born. Such a beautiful thing that you're here walking this earth. Tap into that original source. What is that, right? The original vision. That creator had for you. Not our limited brain visions. Okay. Okay, this don't want to stay there. <gasps> stay there! And the grouse. The sacred spiral. We're gaining more wisdom as we go. We don't stay at the same spot. We're cycling up. Are we? How's that? We tap into that original source. Keeping in our prayer for inner peace. We stay in our peace. And we keep doing that sacred dance. And we will get there. Unity and wholeness achieved. But we have to own our whole story. Every piece. Every piece of that, right? If we're too afraid to let go of that little counterpart of pata 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 body bay. We never go to bed about a pie. Okay? <laughs> Don't let go of that counterpart of the body, you'll never be the butterfly. Right? We're tapping into that unlimited vision that source had for us. Not just our limited vision. Of ourselves, right? Path into getting that new abilities or renewed. What is that for you? Oh, you beautiful being. So that was the top and the bottom. But look at there's a totem right here too. Horse, that's our power. Empower, empower, not overpower. Okay, that came on the top too. Where does four? There we go. Look at that. Look at that, tapping into that original source. Because they're owning our own stories, right? We're being ourselves, fully, wholly, and completely. Okay? Beautiful beings! There you go. March to the beat of your own drum. Big as heart hugs. Yes. Thank you for being you. Shine your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. To be you. Fully, holy, and true. Don't let that world miss out on all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay. Let's go make this another wonderful, blessed day. All right, let's go, 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 make it so. Slow, slow, slow. Mwah. I love you all. Thank you.